this is the fourth in a series of videos in which I'm attempting to repair an IBM 5120. In this video I'm going to be looking at cleaning up the electronics box. That's this unit. As you can see it is absolutely filthy. Um, it's caked in dirt and uh, this is the remnants of the uh, foam pad that supported the top end of the boards. It's degraded into a kind of uh, a black goo. Uh, there's corrosion on the back. Um, I don't know if any of this works. We may have a, an issue in repairing this if any of the modules on the boards are faulty. Um, but the first step is to get the, uh, the boards taken out. I'll just brush them off for now. I'll put each one into a protective bag and I'll get back and look at the boards uh, in a later video. But for this video I just want to get this unit dismantled and see if we can at least get the motherboard cleaned uh, up to the point where uh, at least it's usable. I will be repainting this particular part of the machine. It's too corroded to, to attempt to reassemble as it is. So that will need to be repainted. So I'll uh, bead blast this and um, etch prime and uh, paint it. Uh, and it will uh, look a lot better as well, of course. So first step is to try and get the boards out. Uh, they shouldn't be too tight. If you do work on these, don't pull these uh, plastic tabs. They will just snap straight off. This one's loose because I've already had uh, it removed once already. So what I do is take the boards out. I'm just going to brush all the loose dirt off. Uh, and then I will put them into a numbered protective bag. Uh, just get this one done and I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so that's the first one. It's still dirty and covered in dust, but I've removed the uh, tarry mess from the top. I want to do that now because otherwise it will get everywhere. It is literally like a tar substance and it sticks to everything and uh, it, once you get it on something it's very difficult to clean off. Now unfortunately I don't know what's inside these modules so if they have failed then we may have uh, some difficulty in getting this uh, machine repaired. Um, if they're not potted then possibility that we could open them and replace the electronics inside. Um, Unfortunately I don't have a schematic for this machine, I've got a logic diagram for it but no actual schematic so if anyone out there has a schematic I'd very much appreciate a copy, uh, it would certainly uh, make the, uh, the job go a lot more quickly. So what I'm doing now is just taking these out, I get a protective bag, pop each board into the bag. and then number them so I know what each one is and I'll do that with each of the boards and um, then we can start looking at the actual chassis and the electronics box itself. Okay, that's all the boards removed. Uh, there is this um, connecting cross link that I'll clean up later, but it's, it is just literally a cross uh, link board with a, a rubber spacer to hold the uh, connectors in place. I'll clean that later. Next thing is to get off uh, any loose debris from the box. So there's some tape here that was used to hold the um, cables in place. So I'll just get that out of the way. Okay, and the next thing is to actually take the uh, screw clamps off, so the uh, boards held in place with some screw clamps at the front and the back. So I'll just unscrew those.
Okay, and then we'll spin it round and get the fan removed. So we'll pop the connector out of its bracket first. Okay, that's that removed. And now we can unscrew the fan itself. Okay, that's the fan out of the way. So that doesn't look too bad. Don't know if it will work or not, but obviously that would be quite an easy item to find a replacement for if we need to. And now we've got this out of the way, what I can do is remove the uh, clamps that are holding the actual motherboard in place. Um, I'm going to mark it just to make sure I get it back on the right way round. Uh, but of course I'm videoing this and taking photographs as well, so um, I can be fairly certain I can put it back the way I want to get it back. Also noticed um, some of this is bent, uh, so it's a bit worrying as to quite how that's managed to be uh, distorted like that. It's unlikely it was done while it was in the machine, um, so I'm hoping that um, there isn't any other damage on this board. Uh, but so I'll get the uh, the board removed and then we can uh, have a look at the rest of this particular unit. Okay, that's all the screws removed, so this should now just lift out, which it does. And uh, as we can see, it's in need of a very good clean. So I just get all these out of the way. Okay, so that's the electronics box dismantled. Uh, I'll give this a clean and then the next step will be to bead blast this and repaint it. Uh, but what I'll do next is to attempt to clean this. Um, the contacts actually don't look too bad. I'll get this under a microscope once it's cleaned and have a look, but they actually look fairly reasonable. There's not as much corrosion on here as I'd first uh, feared there might be. And we've got some bent pins that we'll need straightening. Uh, also need to be very careful not to rip any of these wires off. Uh, but I'll go and get this cleaned and then uh, get back on camera. We'll have a look at it and uh, see just how bad it actually is. Okay, I've cleaned up the motherboard. It has cleaned up surprisingly well. Had a couple of corroded pins on one of the slots, but this is a fairly standardised format for the time, and these are really nothing more than wire wrap um, pin sockets, so some aren't used. What I've done is just the ones that were corroded, I've um, replaced them with ones that weren't used elsewhere on the board. They're just through hole, you just pull uh, the old one out, push the new one in, solder it in place, and, uh, and it's done. I have checked them all under a microscope, they're in much better condition than I'd feared. Um, coupled with slight corrosion on still, but it's very slight, very minor, and I've given it a really good clean, very thorough clean, and it's come up extremely well. So it is looking quite promising as far as uh, this particular component is concerned. I also popped off the uh, connector covers, and that means I can clean right down into the um, the actual contacts and the pin right down to the bottom of the pins uh, that makes sure that uh, there isn't anything down there that's going to uh, short anything out. The last thing I want is when I power this up is to short out the boards. As I said these boards have modules on that are probably going to be impossible to replace so I need to be very careful in the way I approach this. So this is looking good. I've also straightened the pins that were bent. Um, it's 
in surprisingly good condition considering the amount of corrosion on the rest of the machine um, obviously being gold plated it, it really does help um, but I've gone through I've got a couple of um, pins still to straighten I'll go through every one and make sure they're all straight but on this side at least they are all in uh, good condition now uh, I've cleaned each one with uh, IPA I cleaned the entire board uh, very thoroughly and then I cleaned each pin with IPA just to make sure it was uh, extremely clean and they did come up very well uh, I can refit the uh, connector shells I also cleaned up the bridge from the top so this is just a couple of uh, bridge um, PCBs and um, that's cleaned up very well as I said before it was completely covered in that thick tar and uh, it's come up uh, nice and clean so that's um, that part done the next part in the electronics box is the box itself so what I'll do is I'll go and get this in the bead blaster completely strip it down to bare metal uh, and then I will etch prime it and paint it I also straighten out the uh, bend uh, no idea what's happened there um, as I said I'm hoping that was done um, prior to the machine being built uh, I have looked and it doesn't look like it should be there I'm pretty sure it should be straight uh, there's nothing in the case to indicate this was done while it was in the case and there is a kind of a, a gouge here looking like it was uh, uh, done at some other time so I'll get this straightened out, get it stripped and we'll have a look at it once it's been stripped make sure there's no other damage if I find any other damage I'll repair that before I paint it uh, and then I can just clean the other parts, the fan and the uh, various brackets and then we can start putting this back together that's the electronics box stripped, took about an hour in the bead blaster, uh, it's come up uh, very well, no real damage to it, um, just needed straightening out in a couple of places, but all the corrosion was uh, fairly superficial so no real uh, major repairs required. So that's it uh, for that, the next step is to get it uh, etch primed and the top coat to try and match the original. I've cleaned all the other parts for this assembly, uh, most of them come up fairly well, the fans come up. Uh, very nice and clean. All the brackets, fittings, fixtures have been cleaned, they've all come up very well. So I'll get this painted and then in the next video we can reassemble this, make sure it all fits together properly and then we can start looking at the power supply and uh, go from there.